so i i really would want to talk to us um ladies let me start with you there are certain things sisters i love you and i'm speaking to you from the depth of my heart if you listen to me you will be saved if you are stubborn and you don't listen i guarantee you you would have defined a path that will lead to tears are we together now say amen sisters here doesn't mean people who maybe ladies who are not yet married it, just anybody really there are certain things a lady must find in a man otherwise don't marry him write it down i've upgraded my curriculum on this you will you will be interested to hear the things i'm going to tell you now a thorough upgrade just four things i've summarized every cry of every sister to four things whether you know it or not just believe me any brother that does not come along these lines is dangerous sisters what did i say he is shout it i didn't say he's bad i said he's dangerous i don't care whether the brother is joshua selman i don't care whether the brother has a bible on top of his head if these four things are not in place your home will be a disaster and your children will be a disaster ready number one you have no business talking about relationship and marriage with any man who is not god fearing don't be too fast allow me to properly define what i mean by god fearing notice i didn't say born again because that thing has been abused in the 21st century a born again brother is not one who came out for altar call and you witnessed him raising his hand that's not born again god fearing the primary reason why society is in decadence listen to me is because the men are not god fearing the fear of the lord is not believing in god there are two different things faith in god and the fear of god are two different things i can have faith in god and not fear god are we together now yeah there are many faith-filled christians who are not god-fearing and listen look at this i am a christian i am a child of god my life is governed by a reference listen the bible is my reference are we together now my decisions are made with respect to this reference so when you tell me you are a husband what reference are you leading your life and your family with so many people come to church but there is no reference upon which their lives their ideologies and their decisions come from so they just hilariously come up with concepts and ideas about parenting and they have destroyed the lives of innocent women there are many women in the last two weeks the number of married women have had to counsel and the pain that the average married woman woman goes through in their home is unbearable they laugh in the open but they are dying in the secret and the sad thing is that most of the men are born again some are even bishops priests sincere people deacons what does it mean to be god fearing to be god fearing number one means to have reverence respect for god not just to believe in god but to have reverence for god let's hurry up number two to be god fearing means to submit to the ways of god submit to the word of god as the final authority in all matters write this one down to submit to the word of god as the final authority in all matters not some matters you so you don't mix the word of god and culture in our place this is how we do it no in our village this is how it is done this this diversity of concepts has largely destroyed many good men 
turn them into beasts and animals because there is no centralized scripture based reference upon which their activities are carried out listen let me tell you something there is no man that is bad when they tell you a man is bad when a woman looks at her husband when a young lady looks at someone she's in a relationship with and says you are bad there is the concept of bad does not exist there is no man who is bad every man is like a video playing out his mindset it is the thinking the ideology of a man that expresses him as bad that is why an arm robber can carry the same body and in two years the arm robber has become a pastor the body did not change something changed the same hand that once held a gun and was brutal over people now holds a bible and is saving sinners there is nothing called a bad man i've interacted with some people who are supposedly bad some of them old enough to be my parents and i've discovered that intrinsically every man is good their approach was wrong and so their life became a script playing out some of you are looking at me now brothers as sincere as you are you are about to replay the same script if you don't change you will be shocked to see how you will find out that what you desire let me tell you there is no bad man who married his wife to destroy her are you hearing me nobody i'm a man i've been a man all my life i'm not just being a man now so you have to listen to me i know exactly men are not bad people but there are concepts that have turned men into beasts are we together a god-fearing person the word of god i always give this analogy when i'm counseling people listen if wife come if watch this this is my wife and i want the television to be here everybody look up this is a television now i want the tv to be here and my wife says my husband this tv has to be there there is a conflict of ideas now to be god fearing means both of us must have the unashamedness or at least i to say what does the word of god say about tv is the word of god says there should be no tv what happens to my will i fold my will to let the will of god prevail there is no family that will suffer when the man can accept the will of god the problem is usually the will of the man and i look at her and say what part of your dowry didn't i pay you talk to me i will slap you forget that i'm a man of god i'm a man it's just that i'm of god you talk to me i will slap you are we together and you know men we are very arrogant people we can be entering hellfire and claim that it's ac we are and drag people in trouble until we get in there and then we say well I, I did not exactly understand the configuration of a man is such that we have a lot to protect that's why submitting to the ways of god is very hard that's why in most crusades women are more the men don't come they would rather watch from the television and kneel down and receive the same miracle but to come and be healed they feel is an insult i am a director of a and b and c but tonight i pray that god will raise men who can submit i love the song the worship team sang look there is nothing as excellent as a man especially a young man who has submitted to the will of god in every matter it doesn't matter how it stings my ego once the word of god contradicts my concept i bend i don't look for an explanation no sir it is being god fearing that will make you never to carry your hand and beat your wife you are angry but what did the bible say about wives it said treat them as unto weaker vessels so when you slap your wife and you are boiling you are not just a stupid man you are not submitting to the ways of god when you love your wife just because she made a nice hair and say hey, hey, now you are talking you are you are carnal number one that is not even true love because the bible says husbands love their wives as christ loved the church so the thing is to study how christ loved the church he said why we were yet sinners undeserving unqualified in due season christ loved us so when a man has to punish his wife to end his love by dressing well i'm not against good dressing i'm not against looking well i'm not against all of these things
but if you force your your wife to have to succumb to those things the day she sees another woman who has those things much more than her she becomes insecure because she knows how unpredictable your love is the fear of the lord thank you my dear many men do not fear god principles of parenting do you know that there are families and there are cultures for instance that teach that a man can beat his wife at least once or twice so that when he beats her she will know that this is not a stupid is not a sissy i mean it's it's a show of masculinity i senior you in age in strength in whatever it is in salary and you joke with me i beat you once then i ask you for forgiveness i'm forgiving you you are forgiving me but the memory of what happened will keep you in place that has worked for a lot of people but i hate it not i don't care whether it works or not it's not consistent with the word of god the word of god is not about what works or not it's about what god says if i apply the word of god and it does not work i will still remain there not because of the result it produces but because that's what came out of the mouth of god that's what it means to be an ardent follower of the word sisters are you listening unfortunately now we we live in a generation where and please don't don't find this insulting many of our sisters some of you are here looking at me now you are so gullible just anybody just comes wherever he has small money small whatever you are praying in tongues yet you are not allowing what you are praying to inform the decisions i am shocked when some ladies bring some brothers to me and say i like him i want to say where did you keep your brain i taught you so many things look at the kind of person you are dragging completely antichrist in his approach why do you love him he loves me is he a christian i uh, he's a nice he comes around listen let me tell you something another wife uh, well just for this example you are not permitted to marry another wife listen watch this everyone do you know the only thing you cannot change in your life is god and your wife and children you are supposed to change your cloth after some time you are permitted as lovely as this cloth i'm wearing is after a few months it will fade and i'll throw it away and sew another one so it's amazing how you can love something now and hate it but the bible says you are staying with that woman so there's no you can't change her like a cloth meaning you must find out from god what he must put in you and her to make her remain fresh if you change clothes change phone change car and yet the bible says you cannot change your wife you must find out lord and the woman is growing old so it means you must do something to me that is beyond the physical to keep me faithful I told you tonight my heart is, is indicting a good matter we are just warming the plane we must reach that altitude this night in the name of jesus christ god fearing sisters i want you to burn this revelation the first thing to look at in a man is not the car he brought hello say hi hello because some of you if we don't press you like this you know i've discovered in church that many people don't listen as you are talking like this they are looking at you they are even writing but their hearts are already made up no sir i'm saving you trouble you will thank me for it not everything that glitters is gold and don't let anyone pressure you whether parents or friend and say after all what is there he can take care of us what is your idea of care buy you things are we together a god-fearing man a man he doesn't have to be a pastor uh-uh god-fearing has nothing to do with a pastor god-fearing has nothing to do with praying eight hours a man can pray eight hours and not be god-fearing i told you there is a difference between believing god and having a reverence for god are you hearing what i'm saying now hmm. the fear of god submitting to the authority of the word submitting to the authority of the word so you may be Igbo, you may be hausa you may be yoruba you may be kaduna state whatever northern you may be from another nation of the world it does not matter 
the issue of this is how we do it in our place this is how it is in our place our fathers used to our this used to happen no 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 people do those kinds of nonsense things do you know how this refusal to conform to the word of god has brought trouble between people it's the reason why many marriages are not working parenting so the man has his idea on how to raise children he got it from his friends he got it from bad people are we together now do you know the average young child was not really trained by his parents he just lived with them it's one thing to live with me but it's another thing to be mentored and trained by me that you are going around in my house does not mean i'm training you the bible said train up a child it didn't say live with him many people are living with their children but they are not training their children so their children get the training from their friends bad books bad magazines rubbish films nonsense photos and pictures and by the time that child is 10 or 11 years somebody else is training him how does a train move they are connected the train will not move against where the head of the train is moving so train a child means set the pace don't tell them to do it lead them in doing it you don't ask a child to buy you cigarettes and then as he drops he says, if i catch you with cigarette i will kill you by myself i've told you smoking is very bad forget that i'm doing it you are not training the child is god speaking to us what i'm saying is a very serious thing god fearing number two ladies the second thing that you must in this order in this order it has to be in this order the second thing is that that man must submit to an earthly authority i'm giving you redefined 21st century world compliant he must be able to submit to an earthly authority for mentorship for building for correction there are many families in trouble today because there is no authority figure over the life of the husband there's no man that can call him and say no no what you are doing is wrong he can beat the wife and almost kill her he's the god of himself never marry a man who does not have a pastor a mentor a spiritual authority an elderly person there must be a personality that he has covenanted to listen to the person say amen, amen. very powerful revelation i give you there are many ladies who say ah you're in a relationship i think you should see a positive i see a puzzle for what 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 should i see him for that's how after he slaps you and you say let's go and see a puzzle we say for what listen no matter how wrong a man and a woman is if there is someone for them to listen you are still safe you are still safe i've had the privilege of talking with a lot of couples i remember one couple they fought in kaduna it was a brutal fight police had to come police for husband and wife and to, and, and they are christians the woman just took she could not take it that day and she decided that look i will try my best whatever i would i will have to attempt this man today true story and two of them after the door settled the police people told them look you are married people don't make a fool out of yourself go on you can you know know how to fix things up two of them agreed that they were going to report themselves to me so they reported themselves and then they came for counseling do you know at the end of that counseling simply because they were people who understood submission at the end of it the man was hugging his wife as if he never slapped her nice people and as far as i know things are working it was a very minor issue and all of that sisters please hear me in the name of jesus the 21st century has changed things some of us this is the dilemma that our fathers came in they had been beating our mothers for many years there are some of us if there was an authority figure the divorce would not have happened there was no one the man decides he's the god of the family the day he decides to descend upon the family with wrath everybody's in trouble sisters the man must be able to show you clearly what authority figure is in his life do you know why let me tell you this Emeka, come sweetheart come assuming stand here 
assuming this lady Emeka comes to ask this lady out and says he wants to marry her do you know if she tells him and says okay whatever it is this is an authority figure in my life and i would like you to see him do you know why the man will run away because he doesn't plan to be faithful and he doesn't want anything that will tie him too much he wants an opportunity to still be doing runs at the side hello are we together so he's hoping that by alienating himself there are many brothers who claim to love you people they come and drop you for koinonia and go away and after the grace they now come and pick you that's dangerous naomi told ruth he said um, um ruth told naomi he says my god will be your god your people will be my people are we together because if i know this guy with this lady tomorrow if i see her smiling at somebody i have the right to ask a question and say ah i hope that guy is your brother that smile is too generous for just an ordinary this thing so what is the issue and if there is an issue i will at least try to find out it's all right if the issues are irreconcilable but at least that there is some level there is disorder in the body of christ because everybody is doing anything that's why you can find one brother with 20 girlfriends scattered all around and they never know themselves yet the brother can be leading worship yet the brother can be a pastor in charge of a and b and c you will tell this one now marry, just be waiting you will just let me just put things in place while he's doing that he's already printing um, traditional wedding card how many ladies have been heartbroken a brother that has told them he has even met their parents while they are happy the next thing they just see a wedding card this is to notify you that the family of a and b is marrying c and d in in different places very careless and we make the church look stupid let me tell you there's order in the body of christ many people will hear what i'm saying and think no this orderliness will always empower satan this orderliness of any sort will always empower satan the bible says let all things be done decently and in order bless you bless you number three very quickly are you getting blessed so sisters the first thing you should look at in a man and if you are married and your husband doesn't have this begin to labor in the place of prayer labor generously in the place of prayer lord turn the heart of this man he must be god fearing i've married the deed has been done but lord you can still step in you are the god of the second chance step in i will never allow my daughter to marry anybody that is not god fearing bring a jeep bring a plane carry hamper for me that, that all that one is your cup of tea if you are not god fearing the first question i'll ask you is not what you studied or where you have a job are you right with god and you know that you will not just tell me yes i said that's all right let's go to the next question no 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 no. we stay there and press it right with god means what yeah right with god means what you don't just say i'm right with god are you, are you a member of what i'm a member of living faith okay that's all right no no I can in five minutes through your words I can know you are just a church goer you don't fear God yeah. let's restore the fear of God so that our children will be raised you send children to school you have finished training your children in the fear of God they now go and meet a very indisciplined child who came from a family that does not fear God and start making your child who fears God feel like an inferior person is that not what happened to some of us growing you left good Christian families the day they were talking about pornographic movies you've never known anything like that and you say I don't know anything they say are you joking you are 14 years you've never watched this and they make you feel guilty for loving god and it's that guilt that drives you say no i have to educate my mind and look at what has happened to your life now you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are god alone and right now through the good times and bad you are on your throne. You are God alone. Be determined to correct the mistakes of your parents with your life. You have insulted your father. You have insulted your mother. It's now your chance. 
Oh, Apostle, I want to marry this year. Congratulations, but you listen carefully. Do you know some people, if not for this teaching, you are about to make a blunder this Valentine because they always come around this time. Wolves in sheep's clothing. They stroll around and they come and look for good church ladies, well-cultured Christian girls who they can play with their mind because of the innocence of the world. There are many ladies, if he's not a church girl, her eye has opened. When the guy does nonsense, you will jack him and say, we'll die here. I'm not a stupid person. I will show you that although I'm a lady. But a nice, well-cultured church girl has been trained to respect men. Has been trained to behave well. Many bad boys like church girls because they avoid trouble. They, they, the pastor has done the work. So I can easily manipulate them into nonsense. And the guy will use the scripture and say, don't shout at me. Remember what apostle said. He said, it's true. Apostle said we should be nice. They always look for these periods and come and destroy the life of ladies. It pains me when I see very nice ladies and their entire life has been crashed and crumbled by very bad boys because they are sincere. They are innocent. And you know why? We pastors don't teach it because we think it's not necessary. So we allow people to make all their mistakes and destroy their lives and destinies. I get text messages literally every day one trouble after another in a family please ladies listen to me very carefully god fearing submission to an earthly authority i have seen how beautiful many homes have become not necessarily because the men are so godly but the power of submission the Lord has revealed things to me about certain families and I've called the husbands to say, husband, would you want to adjust A and B and C? I think you are doing this to your wife. I think you are doing this to your children. Oh, apostle, I didn't know it was this way. All right. Direction. Number three. Sister, you are praying or considering a man to marry or you are married. That man must have passion for you, not love. Passion passion is an adjective that qualifies the extent of love I love you is not a language that is useful again in this generation because it has been abused are you, are you get what I'm saying one tout can be somewhere holding his symbol and as you are passing he says is that I love you so people don't even know what I love you means again I love you means something carnal and fleshly passion please look at me let me tell you any man who does not have passion for you will be unfaithful write it down write it down and put my name under don't don't post anything and put my name but write it down for your consumption any man with no passion for his wife i give you an ironclad guarantee he will be unfaithful it's not if it's when do you know, let me tell you a shocking truth. Do you know that over 75 to 80 percent of men, even in Christian families, married men, within the first five years of their marriage have been unfaithful to their wives? Statistically confirmed. I told you it's not because they are bad. Passion. It is passion. Passion is more than physical stature and, and, what, and all of these things. Are we together now? Yeah. So, that's why I hate arranging marriage. I'm saying it again. You know it. I've told you. Arra marriage that from nowhere you are just standing and they come and say, here is the lady. It's okay. You can suggest, you can recommend and people can pray. But where you just ag agree and the day the person is appearing is the day ring is entering your hand. Hey, hey, hey. You are in big, 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 big trouble because the man is only marrying a wife, not a friend. It is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. Any marriage where there is no passion, there must be unfaithfulness. It's not there will be. There must be unfaithfulness. A man cannot struggle indefinitely contemplating his love for his wife. He will find an alternative. And what a generation with many alternatives. His secretary is there. If she's not there, the other one is there. If she's not around, another devil is there somewhere in the hotel. If she's not there, a receptionist of another place is somewhere. At every given point, 
there is somebody waiting to destroy your husband there are certain women there are spirits that walk in them only married men if they see a young man no matter what you have it's not their business but once they see you you are married ah what a joy if you complain about your wife say ah what kind of a woman will oppress such a nice man as this that's right he's starting he's starting that's exactly what the man wants to hear i'm very serious with what i'm sharing tonight passion when two people come you know to introduce themselves they just come you see sometimes they hold hands it's as if hey, hey, hey let's marry you i said oh god just calm down because these motions are not passion passion is not the the physical exertion you are all around the lady that's not passion sometimes it's just jealousy and your personality it's not passion passion is the depth of resolve is a resolve within you that through that lady you have gotten satisfaction and fulfillment no need for another the bible puts it excellently many daughters have done well but thou excellest them a man who cannot say that to his wife is already a dangerous man it is true i know that you may not be the most beautiful lady let's tell the truth i've seen this lady i know she's beautiful but you are my wife you occupy a place that you alone can stay may god raise men who can speak like that not that a beautiful lady passes and even the wife is now afraid because she knows who she married she just says honey must we stand outside let's go inside she, she has already known the man said no 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 i have to take fresh air what is all this vulnerability see let me tell you something let me tell you a big secret there are four sets of people if you are marrying you have to listen to this thing two times one if you are marrying a man of god we are exposed to people every day people means options are you hearing what i'm saying number two a high profile businessman number three a politician are you hearing what i'm saying now number four a lecturer anybody in the academia if you are married to any of these four people listen with both ears and add your spirit in it because he is exposed as i'm standing here preaching there are all kinds of pretty ladies you are not seeing me but i'm seeing you are we together say amen. amen so when you are not careful you will be surprised that your husband has four children you never knew one day somebody just knocks your house and say i must look for my father you say what is going on here spiritual father and you see a carbon copy of your child look 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 don't think i'm just talking there are many children scattered around they belong to your family it's just that you don't know the day Jesus will come let's just leave him to be the judge amen please let me have our attention very serious issues have you not seen families some of you come from those families after 20 years one day they'll call a meeting and say honestly uh, there, are, there are so many there are complications around you don't know who is your real mother you don't know who is your real father you really don't know how many you are in your family you just know what they told you as you grow you keep learning more you thought you were seven now you have discovered you are ten and eventually the children will say they are coming when the father now dies that's when you know there's trouble because the family with the legitimate wife are all girls and the ones they gave birth to somewhere are boys the moment the father dies they now show up and say no way our father is our father and in our culture women don't inherit anything therefore they displace people i've counseled cases like that are we together very important passion please my brother if you find out it is okay listen it is very okay to see a lady and just be fond of her the mystery of attraction is when you find a lady or a person or an object demonstrating many things you perceive to represent value to you so if beauty represents value it's impossible to see a pretty girl and pretend it's not being spiritual look look very well this ask you why I say because I'm a Christian you are not lying 
so looking it's not all those fake things to pretend you a pretty lady passes there i didn't see and no you saw you saw it's just that you have self-control are we together you must have passion you must have passion many people don't have passion the lifespan of their passion is a few weeks after marriage the lifespan of their passion is when they say i do some the lifespan of their passion is when she gives them three children and four children that was his goal to have children they've been pressuring you promise you are getting old no marriage marry i need three children fine that's the premise of the marriage so you married an object that produces children the moment she produces the children the goal has been achieved so there is nothing else do you know how many women brothers and sisters some of you parents some of you sadly you are the ones yourself in that kind of shoes do you know how many women move like strangers before their husband and sometimes they almost wonder and say you mean this man once asked me out he once stood in the cold waiting for me to come look at how some of our fathers treat our mothers it's a mess and they have mentored us to do the same if God does not intercept believe me you will reproduce the same result many daughters have done well but thou excellest them all there is an appetite for discontentment in the body of Christ brothers let me encourage you please be careful and, and, and sisters too have not come to brothers yet I'm talking about sisters but it's a quality for brothers passion whenever you see that you are attracted to a lady it's not enough reason to go and ask them out that's lack of self-control are we together it is okay that i look at this lady and i'm attracted to her it's okay but self-control that's what they say in the multitude of many counsel there is safety some the moment you see a lady and she's fine day and then even if it's during a prayer session in the heat of prayer say please can you see me after after prayer Shaka bada 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 bada. discipline <laughs> hallelujah the next moment that's your first time you are even new in the prayer they have not even confirmed you you are not a member of the prayer department you are just arriving that day you say sister honestly where where do your parents stay let me tell you what you have just revealed about yourself you are a very indisciplined brother because you come into a place with structure and authority and you just come in and do anything you want to do and sometimes the ladies are foolish enough to play around those kind of things discipline let people come and meet order in your life then they are forced to respect that order are we together now Jesus is helping us today. Somebody, somebody is really getting blessed from what I'm saying. It's very important. Are we together now? Passion. If you are married here, you must pray consistently, brothers, fathers, to keep having passion for your wife, not just your children. Because gone are the days when ladies will respect a man just when he's married. And you can see and say, ah, Jimmy is married, let's leave him. No, no. You can see somebody as old as my father and still come and meet me. Like, daddy, how are you? That daddy is, is, is just means I'm available. Gone are the days. You can see a man at my father's age, see a small girl, and say, ah, uh, my daughter, how are you? You, you would think he's fatherly, my daughter, but he's, he's, he's not fatherly, my daughter at all. It's another dimension on his own. So that you are married. You know, sometimes many men deceive themselves they just think the moment you are married it just means people will leave you alone just because you are married no our society it should be like that but our society has become so depraved that a ring is just a jewelry a ring is just a jewelry for entertainment are you hearing what i'm saying now it's something that symbolizes a covenant relationship it's, it's entertainment so when you wear a ring and say if they see a ring they'll mind themselves it's a joke it's a big joke where to it won't change anything thank you my dear love and passion love and passion 
and then the last key ladies I will dwell a bit here today never marry a man who is irresponsible that's the last point there must be a demonstration of responsibility 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 many brothers are irresponsible Christian brothers inclusive irresponsible tongue talking Christian brothers what does it mean to be responsible to be responsible means it means to be aware of the cost dimension of life taking cognizance of the cost dimension of life I don't mean money that anything to be done must be done by someone the Bible says every house is built by some man but God is the builder of all an irresponsible person says uh -uh, they have not done it a responsible person says can we do it are you seeing that now let me tell you something please look up there is a tragedy that has happened in Nigeria especially to Nigerian young men please listen if you can hear what I'm saying, it will save you. Many gentlemen around the world have been victims of this. And some of them seated here looking at me. I want you to listen very carefully. Do you know many young men have been over pampered? And that's why they are irresponsible today. Over pampering does not mean they came from a rich family. A poor family can still over pamper a man. Let me tell you how they over pampered them. A young man is 18 years. The moment he's washing his clothes, you say, ah, is there not house help? Wash for him. Because we have washing machine in our house. A young man who is supposed to start learning to be responsible. Are we together now? He goes out and by four o'clock you are ringing his phone. Return home. Return home. It looks like you are trying to be disciplinary. There is an age range where he needs to be home. But there is an age range where that guy is submissive. Maybe he's in church as a choir director and you are now calling a matured boy of 19 years old it's five o'clock where are you come home so the guy is now 25 and he stays home he married with his wife and stays home just like mommy said obedient child nobody goes out to get food again because he has been trained come home in america from 12 years 12 years old in america you see children looking for something to do post office ah there, there's no chair for us they always expect to be recipients not contributors it's not your fault that's why I'm helping you tonight many brothers are like that they are born again they love God but anything that discomforts them a little uh -uh, they don't want it it's irresponsibility that produces laziness laziness get up and do something you have a meeting for five o'clock it's raining heavily i said kai oh quarter to five please uh benga i can't make it for the meeting kai, i'm tired this rain the cold is too much that's a lazy man who will not feed his family you see that he will not feed his family because he will say there's crisis in nigeria they can kill people if they go outside and he will leave his family members to die the bible says a lazy man will not sow because of the cold and he will also not reap I am a fanatic of responsibility responsibility you cannot be around me and not be a responsible person waiting for things to be done for you no sir you must learn to be an initiator not just a recipient there are many men today the salary comes from their wives correct it's okay if there is a situation that happened in in the course of the marriage and the woman has to be supporting you see somebody from 1996 no job is the wife that works pays the children's school fees and the man is alive two hands two legs he gets up in the morning sits at the veranda of the house they are playing draft together with other colleagues irresponsible men who come they form a team and they just play where's your wife uh, you know she's a nurse she works in the hospital you know women she will come in the evening the woman will return there is no food she'll come and be cooking and the, the male figure in that family is learning he doesn't like it but his ideology is being shaped after the example he's seeing there are too many irresponsible people there are irresponsible pastors who expect members to be the one to raise money for church have you seen people like that there are irresponsible pastors who expect members to be the ones to give them money 
Am I not your pastor? Buy a car for me. Build a house for me. Marry for me. That's an irresponsible man of God. He's a man of God, but an irresponsible one. Responsibility. So you must look at it. Responsibility is not having a car. That's not responsibility. Responsibility is not having a house. That's not responsibility. That's the indices many ladies are using and you are already getting into a big mistake. Responsibility is not having a car and a house. Please listen. I can have a car and a house by the privilege of access. It doesn't mean I'm responsible. So stop using a car and a house to prove that a man is responsible. Eventually it's an index that will show responsibility. But responsibility is from the heart. The willingness to grow, to press. The willingness to fulfill the cost dimension of life. Don't say there are two brothers. One has a car. The other one is walking on his foot. And so I, let me just go with what I'm seeing now. The moment the car spoils, that's the last car he will ever buy in his life. Because he never bought the first one in the first place. Many ladies don't know how to trust God for good brothers. We pray in tongues but we don't know what to expect. And so I'm painting a picture for you right now. Somebody already after koinonia, you answer the guy. You see how God has given you the answer? The answer is no. The answer is no. Immediately after koinonia, you send him a text. He said, please. Sorry I've delayed you, but the answer is no. Because you are not God-fearing. You don't submit to any authority and you don't want to. He may not know, but is he willing to now that he knows? Are we together now? Yeah. Number three, do you love me passionately? No. You passworded your phone, passworded your text, passworded your laptop, passworded a call is coming. You just run outside. You save the name of a lady, John. You save the name of the other lady, Andrew. Because you turn the head of people to be stupid. Andrew, why are you calling me? It's a coded language. You are not serious. Hallelujah. And finally, the man is not responsible. The average African family has a, has a family to take care of. A nuclear family first. I hope you are aware. Brothers, are you aware? <laughs> Be aware now that the average African family, there is every likelihood your wife is not the last born. What does that mean to you? You are a direct contributor. You are going to contribute. There are families that they gave birth late. Praise God. So, one sister is ready for marriage. The other one is still in primary school. You are going to take care of them. It's not supposed to be so, but it's a reality you are bargained for. That's what saying I love you means. That's what saying I want to marry you means. She tells you I'm the firstborn. Out of how many? Seven. You said you still love